All right, actually, sort of start with the fact that the game's gone ahead. First of all, the national well, the league, league the league, the leagues have decided to do that. Obviously, it, you know, most other leagues have called the games off. It was played, played in good spirit, the right way. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see what the outcome is. Did you have any concerns over it being played though? Not really. Obviously, we were we, we we had to come, we had to come and do a job, and that's what we try to do. But um, it was ironic that the ones above have all, all called their games off, and I think there was ten in the end or eleven in the end in the the national leagues. So. Yeah. Just how, how were you feeling yesterday when it was coming through the Premier League or off the Football League or off? Were you sort of thinking? No, I just just no. I mean, I was waiting for our secretary, like I always do. To let me know if the game was on, and I, I was—I think I left the club about three o'clock, and I got a text later on saying that all games are on. So it was what it was. So. How did the players feel about that? No problem at all. No problem. You know, obviously there's going to be little murmurs and rumours, and people are going to say things, but you've got to do a job. You've got to do a job. Yeah. So it hasn't affected the no. sort of preparation or no. anything like that for today's game. No. What did you make of your first sort of game? Is I think the first half, I thought there was nothing in it. I think the first half, I think if we were a little bit more ruthless in front of the goal, we'd, we'd, we'd take two or three chances. We didn't. I think we played well. Um, it's a, it, the, the wind obviously didn't help Chris in his, in his, in his punch in his own. He's, he's obviously anticipated it's going to go a little bit further. He didn't. It held up. He punched it in. So that's a mistake, really, by Chris. But it happens, and he's been fantastic for us you know, this season. So we can't really say a lot about him. So, life of a goalkeeper. Of course, yeah, yeah. He has been brilliant. He's, he's, and it's just, you know, wind assisted and he tried to get hold of it and he's made a mistake. He's misjudged it and he's punched in. We started the second half really quickly and then it sort of unravelled in the space of a few minutes. What did you think we, of the second goal? Was a bit, a bit of confusion over the free kick? Or? See, if I, if I speak my mind, I'll probably get in trouble. I think the referee's, you know, he, he's not even four or five yards away and they, they give it. He's kicked it against him, they give it. It shouldn't really be. Would they usually do that? Would they usually stop the game? No, I don't think they would. But that was a killer blow for us, really, because he's going to take a quick free kick and he's, he's impeded it and he's gone. He's not even 10 yards away. I think, and, he, and the worst thing about all this, if he looks at the referee, he wasn't even watching where the ball was. He was looking away. So, and it was, you know what it was? It was two goals from two throws from the left hand side. And, the, and that's, that killed us. The third goal as well. Yes, I mean, after the third goal, it's obviously impossible. Yeah, yeah. Not good night, Racer, yeah. But look, it is what it is. We're in a transitional period. These boys have got to work hard to to convince us if they want to be here or not. You know, we hear the majority of the people and what they say, which is normal. But we have to do better. We've got to be ruthless in both boxes, especially second half. I mean, we had loads of chances to put the ball in the net and we didn't. But they, they didn't have as many as us and they stuck through. I mean, the first one was uh, wind assisted and he's made a bad mistake, Chrissy. But the other two, we've got to do better. Yeah, do you see Tuesday going ahead? You got yeah, yeah. If it does, it does. We're ready. We've got, we'll be being on Monday, ready to go to work. But we need men now. We need men that are going to be stand up and be counted. We don't need people that are going to be timid in both boxes. We need to be ruthless.